Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ4E, and welcome back to the forest. Okay, so I was trying to go to sleep, and guys, I don't know what is going on with the sleeping in this game. Either my world is bugged, or they changed the way sleep works. I have no freaking clue. All I know is last night, I went to sleep when I was supposed to, and I got up when I was supposed to. And now tonight, I'm not going to be able to sleep at all. Not even once, uh, which is really weird. Like, that's not even close to me being able to sleep. Um, the whole sleep mechanic is kind of borked at the moment. So, I am going to have to record some during the night, but I do have this um, under graphics. There's like this color grading. If I put it to Texas, and I put up the world uh, world and day brightness, caves and night brightness, let's see what that looks like. All right, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I just got to remember to put this down uh, when it's daytime. Yeah, so Texas and Caves and Night Brightness all the way up. There we go. And uh, that's the best I can do. Uh, let me know, you guys, especially you guys watching on, like, tablets or cell phones. Let me know how this brightness works because, um, I mean, I'll skip some of the night, but I can't skip all the night. There's a lot of work to be done. I am cutting down a bunch of trees. What are we going to be doing today? Well, I want to show you guys the bone zone. I'm going to do that during the day. Um, I my my episode, my last episode where I was supposed to show you guys everything, I never showed you the bone zone. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that for sure. Uh, I think I'm also gonna turn off this thingy once it's daytime, so we get attacked a little bit. Uh, I think that'll be pretty cool. And then I'm going to make the armory. Um, I could probably start making the armory right now. I just don't know how bright it's going to be in here. It looks like it's pretty decent. Yeah, it's not too bad. I need I need skulls. That's what I need. That's why we got to go into the bone zone. Uh, get some, get some. Uh, what are they called? <laughs> I want to call them infected. They're not infected. I want to call them zombies. They're not zombies. I want to call them cannibals. Ding 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 ding. They are cannibals. Yeah, I want to get the cannibals to attack the bone zone. Uh, I think that'll be pretty cool. All right. So what I want to do here, I think what I'm gonna do here is, what I'm gonna do here is, we're gonna take some. Uh, uh, fencing. I think we're going to use some fencing here. Now, do we want to use stone or regular? Uh, I'm going to use stone because why not? Press C. And then we're just going to bring that out like this. All right. I kind of like that. Uh, looks pretty good. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. C. And start that right there. Okay. So it's about right out to about there. Uh, yeah, yeah, I kind of like that. I kind of like it. So we got some walls there, okay? Now again, this is going to be the armory. So the main thing of the armory, like the the main, I don't know, like piece of, I mean, honestly, it's an armory, so it stores things, but I kind of look at this as a decoration setup too. Uh, you know what? These wouldn't be bad over here. Let me take a look really quick. Um, rotate. Oh, uh, you know what? I could probably rotate. Nah, I don't like them in that corner. Like this? Yeah, I don't really know what I'm going to do with those corners. It's not going to be armor racks, though. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one right here. Line that up. Looks pretty good. I'm thinking one on this side, one on this side, and mirror that on the other end. Uh, Sure. And if you hold down duck, it won't get rid of the ghost image. So, all right. That's like right about there. All right, so that's about one and a half away. So, if you go on, like, certain parts of this floor, things are, like, lean to the side, which kind of blows. So, you know, even though I want to put it over here, it's not really going to work that well over there. Um, that looks pretty good. I can live with that. And then what we're going to do with this one is we're going to turn it around. Like so. Okay. And then we want to line this one up exactly with this one. So, this one looks like its feet are right in between this line. Okay, so... Yeah, just like that. Looks pretty good. Alright, and then this one, its feet are... It looks like its one foot is right on that line. So that's going to be my left. My left. So this should go right about here. Alright, how does that look? Yeah, it looks pretty good. I like it. I like, I like them both on the, on the sides of the windows. That looks pretty nice. I do like that. I have to figure out what I'm going to do over here. This is going to be... I might just leave it open, honestly. Like, maybe some tables. I'm not really sure. All right, so what's the next thing that we would put down after the armor rack? Probably 
Weapon holders. Uh, yeah, weapon rack. You know, nothing I do over here... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Nothing I do over here is going to work quite the way I want it to. So I am just going to leave leave this open. I'm just going to leave it open. Just as a little area I can go over here to look out. It's fine. I've got plenty of room down here. It's not like I'm going to run out of room. So, <clears throat> all right. So for the weapon racks, I can never tell. Yeah, that's the forward. Okay. So we're going to have to put these right here. Damn it. Uh, maybe we can't put them there. I don't want to put them like, like that. Uh, maybe on either side of the... um. Of the bone of the armor racks, it doesn't look that bad. So like right there. So what is that? That's uh about two spots over. So that would be one, two. So I'm thinking like right here. How does that look? Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. <clears throat> so we're gonna do the same thing over here. Does that look uh? Yeah. No. Damn it. I wish there was a reverse. Like, if you want to, like, go back, you have to go all the way around. Okay. That should be good. And then about two over. So that's about two over right there, roughly. And the same thing over here. One, two. Ugh. We're going to have to put this one a little bit closer than I want to because I don't want it going sideways. Okay. Okay. So let's take a look. That looks good. And that looks pretty good. It's a, This one's a little bit closer to the armor rack than I'd like, but you know what? I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Okay, so we got the weapon racks. Now we're going to need explosive holders. And can we put these in the middle without? Uh, kind of. I could do it on this side. Probably can't do it on this side. Nope. Yeah, this side's all screwed up. All right, so we're going to put the explosive holders. Uh, you know what? We could put these right under the windows. Do we want to maybe not put anything under the windows? That could be pretty cool, too. So I'm thinking, like, we're not going to need a ton of explosive holders. So I think one right here would be pretty good. And then one right here. All right. Good. Mirror the other side. All right. We got the explosive holders. Beautiful. All right, now what else are we going to need in here? This is all about armor and weapons. Uh, so let's take a look at all of our storage units. Don't No, none of the stuff. No food, no 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 stick holders, no log sleds, no rock holders. Weapon rack we have, explosive holders. We're going to want some cabinets. We'll put those on hold for a minute, though. Um, skin racks. No, no, no skin racks. Uh, bone baskets? No. Arrow baskets, yes. Actually, arrow baskets and cabinets. All right, so let's do the cabinets first. And we are starting to run out of a little bit of room here. We could probably put the cabinets like... Uh, hmm, where do I want to put these cabinets? I went ahead and put all my settings back down to normal because it is daytime now. Uh, you know, I kind of like the walls, the way the walls are lined out. So, And there's a lot of room in the middle of this place. So what I'm going to do is... We're going to put some custom walls in the middle here, and the rest of our stuff will be, you know, placed on that. Um, I'm not sure exactly where the middle is. Uh, well, the middle is exactly where the door is. Is that good? Yeah, that's all we need. A little room divider there. A little bit of a room divider. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take... I'm, I kind of want to add a little bit more onto this, to be honest. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah, this is... No. No, this is coming out pretty dope. It, they might not be lined up perfect. I will fully admit that. But I think they're good enough. I think they're good enough. Okay. We're going to put that on hold for now. Because I do want to show you guys the bone zone. And I want to make sure it's during the day. But before we go show you the bone zone, I'm going to show you the best way, I feel, of getting food in this game. Now, there's a couple ways you can get food. Uh, you can do blueberries or you can go out and hunt animals for, for food. Uh, the blueberries take a lot to, like, fill you up. Like, you'd have to eat, like, maybe if you're really starving, maybe about 15, 20 blueberries, and you can only hold 30. And it's a blueberry pouch. Again, watch my Let's Play. Watch the playlist if you want to know how to get all this stuff. Um, but I'm going to show you what I got up here. So I got a bunch of blueberries, uh, and I've got two blueberry farms here. Now, what I do is I eat off one blueberry farm while I'm planting the other. So this is the one I'm eating from. So we're going to grab these and put them in our pouch. 
All right, until our until we can't hold anymore, until our, until our pouch is full. And it looks like this farm is just about done, honestly. Yeah, this farm is done. Okay, great. So I could show you the the trans transfer period. All right. So anyway, once you've built, once you picked all the blueberries off of that one, if there's still blueberries left, you come over here and you plant them here, and then you just go about your day. Once they're done and there's no more blueberries over here, what you do is you break out all these bushes. The blueberries won't grow back, so you have to break out all these bushes. Anytime you eat a blueberry, you have a chance of getting a seed. And that's what I do. I eat them from here and I plant them over there. Now what I'll do is I'll eat them from here now and then plant them over here. And you just keep rotating back and forth and you'll always have blueberry um, bushes. It's 17 blueberries. It's good enough for now. I'm going to leave that one alone because the blueberry the blueberry bushes have certain like tiers they grow. And if you pick them too early, you won't get as many blueberries. So you want to make sure they're at the highest tier or at least you know do the best you can. Uh, to make sure that the highest tier. All right, so this little stair stairway right here goes over to the bone zone. Although I won't be using this anymore, but this is the way I used to get into the bone zone. And the bone zone, this game has a lot of traps in the game, and the best trap by far, in my personal opinion, is the well. You know what? Let's go to traps. Where are traps? Utility boats, small traps. Okay. Small traps are all garbage. The advanced traps are great. The deadfall trap is really good. Happy birthday trap might be the best. And these happy birthday traps, you see how they you see how they go down? I built them in a square and I called it the bone zone. And the reason I call it the bone zone is because this is this zone is basically developed to get bones. I kill enemies, I burn their bodies, I get the bones. And if you kind of look around, you can see it's just a big square all the way around. And right there is an entranceway. Uh, I'll show you the entranceway in a moment. Right now, I'm just going to climb down this. This middle part will probably be destroyed pretty soon. Uh, but yeah, so this is the inside of the bone zone. I've got some. I've got sticks in here. You need sticks to reset the traps. That's the trap, right? The bone zone trap. If someone walks over that tr that little piece of it's not a trip wire. It's a trip stick. Uh, this thing pops up. You see the spikes on it, and it just gets right in your face. And the spikes kill the whoever's tripped that thing. Sometimes they can get through it if they're running fast enough, but I would say more often than not, it gets them. And I'm just going to settle these up. Now, oh, I got to go turn off my little blue thing. Because I do want to fight some, uh, I do want to fight some dudes today. Alright, so, the original idea of the bone zone was this, is a, this was a solid square. No way in or out, except for this thing, which they would not climb up. So, the problem is that I couldn't bring log sleds in here, and that was a problem for me. So, what I got right here is I got this little wall set up here with a door right there's the door this is a piece of wall this is a door this is a trap trap um right here i have a deadfall trap this thing's pretty much useless i'm gonna eventually break this out and build this wall on this side as well although i might make that a solid wall because there's no point in having two entrance ways but anyway i make a little i don't know we'll see maybe yeah, no, I think that's the way I'm going to do it. The idea is that the enemies won't attack the the, um, the traps. Oh, this trap needs to be repaired. Oh, where's my repair thingy? Now, you can't have the bone zone traps getting broken out. If these, if these happy birthday traps get broken out, you can't put them back. The only reason I got them this close is because I built them in ghost images. And I built them all. And then I, and I, built, I put them down all as ghost images. If, you, if, one, if this one gets broken out, you can't replace it. So that, that's the only problem with this setup. Uh, all right. So anyway, so here's the wall, right? Now, the enemy can attack this wall. There's nothing to stop the enemy from attacking that wall. But the cool thing is, if the enemy attacks that wall, I could get them from here. They're attacking the wall. I can shoot them with arrows. They won't be attacking the wall for long. And honestly, it's not like they'll go for that wall. The enemy's not that smart. They're basically, most of the time, just going to run in through these happy birthday traps and get themselves killed. All right. And this allows me to get in and out. There we go. Pretty cool. I also have a, I also have a little pathway here that I'm gonna want to build up, leads in and out of the bone zone. Right now, I'm gonna go to the, the little. I don't know what you would call it. I think it's called the artifact. Um, and we're gonna go to the artifact and we're going to turn it off. Okay, we're gonna pick it up, and I forget how to work this thing. All right, that's red. That will. Nope, that just turns it off. Okay, so I think that thing's off now. Okay. So now that that thing's off, we can get attacked by enemies. You can actually make it red. I forget how to make it red. I'll look up the 
I'll look up the controls later. Um, but yep, yeah, yep, yeah, here we go. We got some enemies coming in. All right, um, but if you make it red, it calls in enemies. Now, I don't really want it to call in enemies. Um, I don't mind fighting, but I don't want to be like fighting the whole video. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come to the bone zone. And I just saw some guys running over here. But I don't know. I mean, I guess I, the thing is, the thing is, there's a couple different kinds of enemies in this game. There's cannibals and there's mutants. The cannibals, the bone zone can handle. The mutants, it can't. If I see mutants, I have to run out of here. Now, if I turn that, if I turn that like little artifact thing on red, it's going to call in mutants. And that's not really what I want to do here. I want to collect bones and I want to collect skulls. Another problem with the bone zone is like it doesn't it's not like mobile so I have to kind of like drag people back here and like you know I had to go get them and bring them back here it's it's you know it's fun but it's not super efficient so but we do have some enemies around here so I'm hoping they'll try and come in and trip these happy birthday traps like this watch okay she walked in too slow so it didn't actually it didn't actually kill her but we can get her ow there she goes so that's how the happy birthday traps work. Yeah, I mean, if the enemies aren't here attacking you, like, aren't right here attacking you, you know, it's not super efficient, but um, it's it's still pretty fun. It's still pretty fun. If you if you get overwhelmed, you can always run back here for some you know peace of mind because they can't defeat it. Not without mutants. Got a few of them over here now. It's weird the way they're walking in. Like usually they just run in. Like right now, that's that's like their normal thing. Now, I can always hit them with arrows. But I think I'm going to save my arrows and see if they kind of run in. I want you guys to see the happy birthday traps just decimate them. It's really weird that they're walking in like this. That is so odd. Yep, yeah, he's not happy. All right, come on, guys. Damn. What the hell's your problem? Run in, bro. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Huh? This freaking guy. Come on, bro. Damn. All right, you know what? I'm not aiming to kill either. I want him to run in here. There you go. See, they can jump over sometimes. But it doesn't happen all the time. And even if he does jump in, his buddies won't be able to. And then I'll have, like, I'll have one-on-one. One-on-one -on -one. One -on -one is all I really want. And he's going to back up into it, and he's done. And this one over here got... You see? Now this one was going to come in and try and mess with me while I was fighting his buddy. So if you're fighting him out in the open, you know, it's just... It's not really that great. But when you fight him in here, it's a much better situation. Because it really just divides them. Which is awesome. You gonna come in, bro? I usually like to stack their bodies so we can burn them all at once. There he goes. And he's done. GG. No re. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to place all the bodies on top of each other. What I'll, what I'll eventually have here is like a little campfire. I dump them in, but for now I'm gonna do it this way. Uh, I'm going to put the plain axe in the middle. I'm going to turn it into whatever plain axe with a cloth. Hold that to light it up. And then we're going to burn the bodies. We're going to grab the bones, the skulls, all that good stuff. So what I need all those bones and skulls for? Yeah, these things. For real. I need so much of them. Uh, I think I'll do this one next. I mean, eight skulls. That's like two trips. You can only carry four skulls at a time. So, all right, the next thing we want to do is we're going to grab one of these log sleds. And we're going to bring them over here. We're going to finish the divider in the middle. All right, as long as, as well as the stone on the side. Uh, I don't really see any reason to make these windows. I was thinking about it, but it's probably going to have, like, stuff in front of blo like, blocking where the window would be, so it's not really that needed. I should probably save the game. <sighs> yeah, I really should. Uh, anytime you're building anything, like, just save the game. Save the freaking game. Because, you know, something might go wrong. It might not line up the way you want. It might really bother you. And you, you might want to reload the game. Basically, this is, the way you, this is the way you build in this game. You think of, you build something in ghost form that you think will work. Okay? Don't say you know it's going to work. You never know. I'm telling you. Like, you just never know. So build something in ghost form that you think will work. Gather as many resources as you're going to need. Or, or even more. You can never have enough resources. And get ready to build. Once you're ready to build and you have all the resources, save the game. Because then what you can do is, like, let's say you have all the resources, you save the game, and then you build what you're building, and it doesn't turn out right. Now when you reload the game, you've already gathered all the resources. So now it's just getting the ghost image down the way you like. It's really, really important to do it that way. It's just it's just going to make your life a lot, a lot easier. 
Okay, one over there, one over there. I don't think anything else in here needs needs logs. So we're going to kind of move this out of the way for now. And what we're going to do now is we're going to grab one of these bad boys. And I'm going to show you how awesome it is to have your storage room have the kind of doors that allow you to bring a log sled in. Because I, since I can bring a log sled in here, I can move a lot more stone. A lot more stone. It's not even... Like, it's not even funny. I can fit only 10 stone on me. And that's 20 stone in the log sled already. 25. Yep. So that's 25 more extra stone. Damn it. I picked up the stupid glider. Uh, G. G's to drop. There we go. Um, yeah, so normally you could take 10 stone. With this, you could take 35 stone. I tend to get a lot of stone underneath my base. Like, oh, there's a lot of places in this game that are like this. Where you could just run around an area... And, like, go through and pick up all the stone. And by the time you turn around to run back through the area you were just at, all the stones respond. Like, it just spawns all over the place. You don't go more than, you know, a couple seconds without picking up stone. Which is good. Because uh, the stone walls in this game are super, super duper expensive. Like, ridiculously expensive. So, if you want to work with stone walls of any kind, like, this would almost be necessary. Unless you just want to spend your entire life running around... You know, collecting stone. Alright, so is this thing full or what? Eh, it's full now. Okay. So once we fill up on stone, we can go up and we can start building. Um, I went ahead and collected a bunch of sticks. I got a bunch of stone. I've got a bunch of logs. I think I can almost do the entire armory. Like, just make it all. Which is what I really want to do. And you know, we'll see about that. We'll see about that. That is five. The stone's actually a little bit harder to get at this point. Um, usually I would have gotten all the stone by now. I think it's because some of the stone's stuck up in an area I can't get to. But, uh, what are we at? Eight? Alright, two more. We'll have two more in two seconds. And one second, and two seconds. Alright, beautiful. So let's bring this up. Anytime you're going upstairs, uh, you kind of want, like what the log said, you kind of want to go up backwards. I mean, you might be able to get up some stairs depending on how, how steep they are. But a lot of stairs you can't get up, and it's just annoying, so... I just go up backwards all the time. Alright, and here we are. Let's go ahead and finish this bad boy up. Not sure if I'm actually going to finish all of these armor racks today. I need, like, another million freaking sticks, so we'll see. <laughs> we will see. Alright, let's go ahead and put these... Uh, actually, before I put the cabinets down, let's put some tables down first. Because the tables are what I'm going to put the... Um, arrow baskets on. So, where are the tables located? Yeah, there we go. Alright, so I'm thinking, do we need these on both sides? Probably not. Uh, maybe I could put all tables on one side and then cabinets on another. I'm not going to need that many tables, though. That's a thing. Like, honestly, one table will probably be all I need, but then it's not going to match. Like, both sides are not going to match, which is... You know, do I care enough about them not matching? You know, I think I kind of do. I know this is a waste. But I'm okay with that. I'm not going to need a like a ton of like of the uh, cabinets anyway. And this will make everything match. Right? Eh, it's not perfect, but it's good enough. And then on this side, we'll put all the cabinets. I'll find something to put on the tables. I'll put something on the tables. Oh, I didn't think about weapon display. Not that that's really needed. I wonder if I can hang weapons on the wall. You know, I'll do that later. I kind of want to, like, that's more decoration stuff. We'll, we'll do that later. I don't want to do that right now. Let's stay focused and get done what we need for storage. Just like that. Yeah, I'm going to leave it like that because if I put them anywhere else, they're going to lean to the side. and It's going to piss me off. So <laughs> let's go ahead and build these things. A lot of logs, but I have a lot of logs. Alright, so this is weird. I can actually sleep through the night properly this time. Not really sure what the difference was, but I'm very happy that I could do that. Because my guy is getting cold. I'm going to go ahead and eat some of this uh, meat off the drying rack. I, I do actually have some meat. I do kill some deer sometimes and get some meat. So we're going to go ahead and get that. And then we're going to come into the kitchen over here and grab some water. There we go. And now we're doing good. And I've got everything in here built. At least everything that in here that I'm going to build today. 
Um, it's 90% done. 90% done. Still need a couple, couple of these guys to be done. These need to be done. Um, I do need to put some baskets on top of these. I think I'm going to put these baskets on top now. But I probably won't finish them today. And those are arrow baskets. So you go. And, um, you know what? I'm not going to put the arrow baskets on there just yet. Because I'm thinking about some other things I want to put on top of here. I don't know. Maybe I can find some other things to put on top of there. And these are all done. And I can put, like, medicine on here. And some drinks. You know, you may think, well, this isn't a kitchen cage. That's the thing, though. This stuff is used for combat just as much. As I mean, medicine's used to heal, and drinks are used to regain your stamina while you're fighting. Um, I could also put weapons on here of some kind. Is there anything I'd want to put on here? I don't see any weapons I'd like to put on here. What, oh, no. Yeah. I'm going to put my bow. So this is my old bow, and I'm going to go ahead and put that on there. And I don't see anything else. Um, oh, yeah. Let's put the crossbow on there since I'm never going to use it. There you go. Crossbow. We could put some dynamite on here. There we go. And, um, yeah, it's looking pretty good. And then we come up here, and uh, this will eventually, up here will be my bedroom. Cool. All right, this base is coming up pretty freaking dope. I am going to call this one here, though, guys. If you've been enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. <laughs>